This is one of many videos that my son and I shot over this past summer on our epic road trip. And then this one, we're gonna go to Grand Teton National Park and meet a couple of really cool photographers. Come on, let's go. Ah, uh, yes. That moment when you bring your camera to your face to peer through the viewfinder and you see this magnificent creature looking you dead in the eye. A shiver runs down your spine and for a split second, you just can't believe your eyes. The sheer beauty of the great gray owl is mesmerizing. The shape, the color, and who could forget those eyes? You can't help but feel humbled and grateful to be in its presence. And just like that, the moment is gone as the owl turns to look at better things, takes flight, and silently vanishes into the thick alpine forest, weaving its way in and out of trees with a precision honed skill that leaves you standing there out of breath and bewildered, but completely content. But we all know it's not always about the destination. Sometimes the journey is just as much fun, and with a view like this, who could argue? And those two guys down there, let's go meet them. So we're out like probably two or two and a half miles in the forest. I mean, we're so far, like Hansel and Gretel would be lost at this point. Long and time I'm ago. with <laughs> the Owl Whisperer, Steve. And this guy, I mean, he's got some owl eyes. This is Isaac. He can so. see these birds. Like, it's unbelievable. <laughs> so hopefully we can find some of these birds and share the experience with you. And off we go into the wild blue yonder, like little kids in a massive playground. And we stop to check out the little things, like this giant pile of... Whoa, that's a lot of ants. I don't want to step in that, so let's just keep moving. And what do we have here? That's a friendly neighborhood grizzly bear claw mark in the tree. Look at the size of that. It's like bigger than my face. But the journey must go on in spite of giant ant piles and claw marks and trees that look more like a warning sign from a horror movie than a leisurely bear scratch. So when you're like miles out in the woods and you've forgotten any kind of food for energy, elk are always nice enough to deposit these little beans all over the field or the path, just like this right here. So you can just pick them up and munch on them and get a little extra energy. Elk beans, who knew? Of course I'm joking here, you really shouldn't be eating those elk beans. So we continue our hike, and at this precise moment in time, Steve spots a shadowy figure in the treetops. Stop and look around and see if you see a great gray owl. Oh, oh my god, really? Oh my god, I'm telling you. Good eyes, Steve. Good eyes, this is exactly what it was. And there it is. Let's get some shots. It's pretty easy to see why Steve and Isaac are so infatuated with this simply amazing creature. This is one beautiful bird, but our first encounter would only last a few minutes because this bird had other plans, which leaves us once again hiking through the forest. No complaints on my part. I've already forgotten about the giant ant pile and grizzly bear claw marks, and it isn't long until we get another opportunity with a great gray owl. I don't know how he does it. But Isaac sees these birds from like a mile away. This looks like a stick, but he sees it again. So we're gonna follow him up, see if we can find a better situation. And finally, we have our bird. Can you spot it? Here, let me pause the video while you search for that camouflaged owl. And I'd like to point out a couple of interesting things. Both Steve and I are doing our best to keep things steady. Steve is using his left shoulder to help stabilize his camera, and I'm using this good old tree. Not only am I leaning forward against the tree, but I'm also lightly pushing my lens to the right. Makeshift tripods are everywhere. Did you find the owl yet? There it is, right there. All right, let's take a closer look. X marks the spot, they always say, and in this case, our treasure was a great gray owl whose feathers are lightly blowing in the wind, and now you know why I was leaning against that tree. Shooting video handheld with that big old Nikon 500F4 is tough, but thanks to the tree, we have some nice smooth footage. Let's get some more shots. And this time, we actually had more than a few seconds with this amazing creature, and it didn't take long to become completely entranced by this bird's majestic appearance. It's also very apparent how this bird blends in with its surroundings. Owls are all about stealth, and the great gray is no different. This bird's feather pattern looks just like the trees it tends to hang out in, and that's no coincidence. It's all part of this bird's survival tactics. 
It is a silent, stealthy hunter that is often referred to as the Phantom of the North, and we are lucky enough to spend a very small amount of time in its presence. So extra special thanks to these two guys, because without them, this video wouldn't have been here. They shared their place with us. They took us on a great adventure. They both have YouTube and Instagram. If you're not following them, you should. There'll be links in the description below. Steve and Isaac, go check out their stuff and thank them because like I said, without them, this wouldn't be here right now. Big thanks again to Steve and Isaac for taking us out in the afternoon and taking you along too, because without them again, that video or this video wouldn't exist. And speaking of Steve, he just sent me a copy of his brand new book, Phantom of the North. It's all these great, great owl stuff. Come here, let me show you a little bit of the inside of this book because it's absolutely incredible. Check this out, man, this book is big and it's kind of heavy, but look, it's autographed. Mark, come back to the Tetons for some more great, great owls anytime, Steve Mathis. And man, talk about great, great owl stuff. This is amazing. Uh, all the images are by Steve. And then uh, let's see, all of the verbiage is by this girl. I don't know who she is, so I'll just leave it at that. But the book itself, oh my gosh, super impressive. Oh man, this is amazing. I don't want to give away too much for all of you that should go get this book. Um, I'm going to leave links to all of Steve's stuff in the description below and Isaac and make sure you pay them a visit. Go subscribe to them on YouTube. Go describe, subscribe to them on Instagram and all those other wonderful places. Make sure you check out a copy of Steve's book because it's absolutely amazing. And Steve was nice enough to kind of share with me the whole process of how he created this book which has given me an idea. I think I might do the same thing with the Osprey. So that'll be sometime down the road, but thanks to him for that as well. And until next time, I'll see you later.